Mr. Ugly so stunning. Mr. Ugly and the human. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Mr. Ugly Show. Today, we're looking at the latest offering from Iron Factory, a third-party transforming toy manufacturer. This is IFEX70, the Drill of Amduskius, also known as Drillhorn, from Transformers Victory. Here we go. The Drill of Amduskius is the first of Iron Factory's versions of the Breast Force, Evil Destrons that make up the combiner Lyo Kaiser from the Japan only television series Super Robot Lightform Transformers Victory. If you watched our supersized episode on Victory Star Saber, then you might remember what we're talking about here. And if you didn't watch it or you don't remember, here's some quick background Super Robot Lightform Transformers Victory aired in Japan from March through December of 1989. It formed its own continuity with other Japan only series that filled the void between when the original G1 Transformers cartoon finished and Hasbro had something new to send across the Pacific. In this show, the evil Destron forces, led by Death Saurus and his second-in-command, Leo Zack, tried to siphon off enough of Earth's energy resources to reactivate Death Saurus's super weapon. They were defeated by the Autobots, led by Star Saber and Victory Leo. Leo Zack leads a team of elite fighters, supposedly, known as the Breast Force, which sounds like something out of a Roger Corman flick. The name refers to the chest armor worn by each member of the team. That armor can detach and become either a handheld blaster or an autonomous robotic partner. The Breast Force could also combine to form the super robot Leo Kaiser, or Leo Kaiser, depending on which dub you watched. The original Leo Kaiser toy was a set of figures released in 1989 in Japan. Drill Horn transforms into a quadruple treaded drill tank, and his little partner is named Hornbreast. Drill Horn also forms the left leg of Lyo Kaiser. So, uh, what does the figure's name mean? Who is this Amduskius, and why does he need a drill? Well, according to Google, Amduskius is a high ranking demon in occult mythology. He's depicted as taking the form of a unicorn or as having the unicorn head. I guess that singular horn is sort of similar to Drill Horn's little rhinoceros dealie going on, so that's what they went with. Alright, so let's start with Hornbreast. He's a teeny tiny rhino. How cute. He folds up very simply to become Drill Horn's chest armor. As advertised, Hornbreast can also become a blaster for Drill Horn, though this mode is a little less convincing. There's also an alternative blaster in case you don't like the way Hornbreast looks as a gun. Drill Horn comes with a faux chest armor piece in case you don't like the way he looks with Hornbreast clapped on there. He also needs the faux armor piece for transformation. You also get options for weaponry that mimic pretty much every way Drillhorn was ever armed in the animated series. There are these two smaller drill bits that replace his hands. He also gets a double-headed spear. I think the last things to mention about the robot mode, other than how much it looks like a modern version of the animation model, are these optional hands. Drillhorn comes with all of these pairs of hands in various poses. Replacing the hands is just like putting on his drill bits. You just pop them on and off the ball jointed wrists. The range of poses and dynamic gestures you can make with these hands is quite impressive, especially at this scale. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not sure what size we were expecting, but this guy's about eh, four and a half inches tall in robot mode. Here he is with a couple of other Iron Factory figures we have. And here he is next to a couple of Hasbro Transformers. That should give you a good idea of how he might scale with the rest of your collection. He's bigger than the current core class, but smaller than deluxe class. All right, let's see that drill tank. Not much to say about this. I mean, it looks a lot like the original Toys Vehicle Mode, which I like, but updated, which I also like. I like the color scheme, too, and the silver drill bit is pretty. Plus, it rotates, unlike the original toy. Yeah, he's a solid little chunk of tank with a big-ass drill on the front. And he looks great this way. All right, so how is Iron Factory handling the combined mode after all? It doesn't look like you could attach a foot or plug this thing into a knee or anything like that. Right, so the original Combiner toy had Drillhorn form the left leg, 
and uh, locking in sideways treads out. Now, Iron Factory obviously wanted to present a combined mode that looked badass, so Drillhorn comes with a gundam S leg piece. He kind of snaps sideways into it, but like this. Hmm. Okay, okay, I'm digging it. I'm also liking the presumed size and heft of the finished Lyokaiza. Very cool. I can't hardly wait. Yep, and this leg is also pretty well articulated. In the original toy, the figure Jaguar formed the hips, so this is shaping up to be quite an awesome update. It's going to be big, and we should be getting the rest of the Breast Force team throughout the year. We'll be taking a look at each of these figures as they arrive, so keep an eye on our channel if this interests you. They all have cool names like the Hammer of Morax and the Spear of Marbus and so on. In fact, I think the Hammer of Morax may be on his way to us already. And I think that once we get the whole team together, the combined Leo Kaiser might be big enough to challenge Hasbro's Legacy Victory Star Saber to a duel. Well, we'll have to wait and see. He'll definitely be bigger than Hasbro's Legacy Victory Leo, which is kind of funny because Vic Leo kills Leo Kaiser at the end of the show. Dude, spoilers! Nah, nuts. If you haven't seen a 35-year-old anime by now, then you probably aren't worried about spoilers anyway. Besides, we spoiled the hell out of it in our Victory Star Saber video. Anyway, folks, that's it for Iron Factory's Drill of Amduskius. A uh, drill horn, if you prefer. We like it so much that we can't wait for the rest of the team. I mean the rest of the team to show up. If you like this video, please give us a like. And if you want to see what we have to say about the rest of Iron Factory's version of Leo Kaiser, or Leo Kaiser, then subscribe and maybe click that bell for notifications. Well, until next time, folks, we appreciate you putting your eyeballs on our stuff. Mwah!